All right, guys, yeah, just a little video. Um, I got the uh, 67 Sears Suburban Super 12. This is just, you know, usually just Super 12, but you don't know, say Suburban in them. They, oh, you got a custom, da da da. So, but anyways, I got it running. I had to take the carburetor apart and clean it and whatnot. So, that's what happens with this new crappy gas we have. So, but uh, I've decided to no longer run the 87 and start using the, uh, I think it's 93 that I, have, that I have to run in my car. So, and they seem to be running a lot better with that. And not as many carb issues, so. But anyways, um, I got it running. Um, I figured after I... Do the restore on it. I'll put a new gas line on there because this one's pretty well crapped out. It's starting to bend in and whatnot. But I figured you guys might want to hear her run till she's done. This would be the last time you guys uh, hear it run, and the last time I ever hear it run. So till I get her done. <laughs> Uh, right now, I think she's probably about the best runner besides that one right there. This one, this one, that one over there always starts with a small little turn of the key and fires right up. So, but uh, I'm gonna try to restore it back to the verde green and uh, go from there. Um, this one here was restored. Um, I believe it's the verde green, but it kind of looks like the blue, the light blue too. So I won't know for a hundred percent sure until I start painting that one. That'll tell me if this is the verde green or not. But uh, I know eventually I have to redo this one because this one's got paint falling off of it chipping off on it and then they never painted the dash so I uh, assume this tractor at some point was green and yellow from the yellow rims to the green paint so but uh I've had them all fired up except for this one here that one I had cut ran a couple months ago but I want to go fire it up a couple days ago and the uh had a he heli coil on it. I never knew that and uh blew the uh, spark plug out of it. So I either need to um get a new head for it or just replace the motor. I think I'm just gonna replace the motor because I've been having uh some governor issues with this one. Sometimes it'll, it'll run good, and other times it's just, it's like the governor is always on. So it's limiting it, which sucks. So, so I think that'd be my uh, best bet just to get a replacement motor and have somebody take a look at this one and see what's going on with the governor. And then I'll always have a backup. But um, that one there, I haven't had running since. In the last big snowstorm, which I actually have to throw some uh, mechanic in the bottle because it was starting to act up uh, at the very end. So, but uh, I got a buddy of mine that runs that mechanic in the bottle and he swears by it. So, I'm gonna give it a whirl. But, alrighty, guys, I'm gonna start the uh, tear down on it. 